don't believe there is one best way to take the gospel to anyone in the world, um, let alone a Muslim. I think there's many ways to take the gospel, especially to the Muslim world. And when I say the Muslim world, I'm talking about the European context. Um, back in London, where I work, we, uh, I am in the homes of Muslims, in refugee homes. I'm engaging radical Muslim missionaries on the streets. Um, the Muslim missionary movements in Europe are very, very big, and they are growing, and they are mobilizing Muslims across Europe to take Islam onto the streets. There's been a new campaign just recently by a group called Ayira, and their campaign is called Who Do You Love? And the idea is if you love Muhammad, then Allah will love you. And they want to take it onto the streets. They're mobilizing Muslims around the world and also in Europe to go onto the streets to share their faith and to bring people into Islam. Now, they've had some success in that. And I believe as Christians, we need to go meet them, get back onto the streets, even in some ways do old-fashioned evangelism, back into street evangelism, handing out tracts, the old school, if you like, the old way, um, getting out there and being as passionate about our faith whether on the streets in Europe or whether in the homes of Muslims or whether we're in government or whether we're in a university um, environment, which of course is a whole different kind of situation. However, all, all those situations on the streets, in the homes, in the u universities, we need to be confident, we need to be passionate, and we need to clearly articulate the faith. I think we need to learn a bit about Islam and also um, help Muslims understand that we have great differences between our faiths. And understanding our differences actually is what's going to help, I think, bring Muslims to Christ. And so um, it is so important that um, we use many different ways, creative ways. People sometimes use sewing classes. Um, if someone is not the best evangelist, just offering hospitality. If you're a good cook, cook for your Muslim friend. Um, if you're not very good at articulating the faith, then take them, show them videos where they can learn from someone else who is good at articulating the faith. We need to do more impromptu debates or even formal debates in university settings. We need to um, uh, reach the, out to the refugee who is in our land, the political refugee, or the one who's just em em emigrated into um, Europe because they just want to have a better life. God has given us all these opportunities, and we use our specific skills that God has given us to reach the Muslim. So I don't think there's one way, but I will say this. I absolutely believe we, all of us must have passion. All of us must be absolutely convinced, convinced of the Christian faith. We must also understand there are huge differences between our faith. The Muslim and Christian God is not the same God. They are poles apart. And we do not start even from the same Abrahamic tradition. Many Muslims believe that we come from the Abrahamic tradition. But Hebrews 1, 1 to 2 doesn't allow for that. After Christ... There is no other gospel. After Christ, there is no other prophet. It says that God used to speak to the prophets. Now he speaks to his son. And Jesus did send the Holy Spirit. We certainly did not send Muhammad. And he certainly did not send another prophet. Islam is not our religion. When we understand that, then we can be confident in sharing our faith. Then we've got a message to communicate. And we can then bring Muslims back to this God that they don't know. And I just think that we can use all our different giftings, all our different methodologies, as long as they don't compromise the clear gospel message. That's the key. Understanding that we have a gospel message that cannot be compromised. Jesus died for the Muslim, and he wants to forgive their sins. That's the message we communicate.